Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time we're going to be taking a little bit of a revisit into the Gym Knight FTK territory, because it is now a TCG legal deck, and we can actually play it, and so that's what I'm going to be focusing on with this video, trying to get at least a game out of it to show you how it currently plays under the TCG, because we don't have access to things like Grinder Golem combos and stuff like that under our new format list, and all that sort of stuff. I previously covered Gym Knight FTK, like... Whoa, like two or three months ago, somewhere in that time frame. And I was playing Grinder Golem as a large piece of what made the deck, you know, tick into, you know, making good cohesive plays. Uh, but that was because I was just like, not expecting us to get Phantom Quartz anytime soon. But we got it imported in Extreme Force, so we can actually play this deck and you can use it to piss off your friends if that is something that you are into doing. Uh, everyone's trying to figure out what the best deck is and what, like, the good rogue decks are, but. Meanwhile, you can play this as a rogue deck, and it also fulfills the category of actually physically making people upset, and sometimes you just want to be like that. So, this list is a slightly modified by one card list that a friend of mine, Edgar, sent in. He started out as a fan and has since become a very good friend. Uh, basically, he played this at his Yu-Gi-Oh! Day and got second place. I don't know if it was old format or not, but he wasn't playing Reborn. He was playing Absorb Fusion in its place. And I just simply swapped the Absorb Fusion out for Reborn because I wanted to play Reborn. It seems like a card that's a superior extender type card for this kind of deck. I'm not sure if his Yu-Gi-Oh! Day was adjusted to the new format or not because some Yu-Gi-Oh! Days did run under the new ban list even though it wasn't technically released yet. But uh, I digress. I took out Absorb Fusion for Monster Reborn because I felt like the card just overall just makes the ceiling of the deck a bit higher. Absorb Fusion is a consistency enabler but it also hard cucks your entire play string by putting a hard limit on you can't summon block dragon, you can't summon predator plants this turn, and that's kind of a huge, uh, you can't summon crystal rose either, like that puts a huge limiter on what the deck is capable of doing, uh, at least in theory, but I want to play this, try to get at least a game out of it, uh, people tend to get a bit ragey on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro when they see FTK decks doing things, so if I can't get full games out of it, then I'll probably have to settle for one if I can get it. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Basically, I don't think you guys want to see sit here for like me playing this for a long time anyway. We'll probably just try to get one game, and if that works, then that works, and that'll be the video. But regardless of that, let's not waste any more time here, and let's jump straight into whatever games we're going to be getting. All right, so let's see how this goes. P perfect. Yes. Okay. Winning rock, paper, scissors is actually so important with this deck. I've opened Brilliant Fusion. I've opened Foolish. <laughs> I've opened a lot of cards. Uh, I just basically need to wonder if my opponent has a hand trap or not, but if they don't, then this is basically game. Um, because, like, I just get to add a lot off of, off of my, uh, block dragon. At least I believe so. Uh, but yeah, so we'll just go for Zirconia here. Uh, because I need to send block dragon. Although I could have sent something else. Well, no, I can't make Seraph Knight, because, like, this is, I believe, the only light in the deck, if I remember. Uh, but so we'll send block dragon, we'll just send a random vanilla. So this goes here. Uh, I can then normal summon this, make the Phantom Quartz, and the thing is you don't necessarily need like Brilliant Fusion or Scorpio or anything to make like insane FTKs happen, uh, because usually all you really need is to uh, is to have like Gym Knight Fusion plus four Gym Knight monsters in your hand and like have them be the right ones to start actually you know popping off at least a little bit, and that's still usually an FTK in its own right. Uh, but this is a live block dragon, if I remember correctly. Yes, this we go. This goes here. And so now I can fuse with these, which is perfect. Uh, I could have, like, foolish Lazuli and then, like, gotten one of them back, but there's no need to um, at this current point in time. But we'll just put these back. And I'm going straight for the Lady Brilliant Diamond because I want to be able to cycle this out for Master Diamond right now because like, just having one over here seems worthwhile. But other than that, I'm going to link away with the Block Dragon and the Phantom Quartz into the Mrs. Radiant, and then Block Dragon will trigger. Uh, so I definitely need Lapis, and I guess I'm get stuck getting an Armadillo and a Lapis, or a Lazuli, because of the fact that, um, that I have this in my hand. So that's, that's fine. We can work with that. My opponent doesn't have a hand trap, and he hasn't left yet. Kudos to this man. This man's in for the long haul. Uh, but so, this hand is weird. I can't normal summon again until I make like Seraph Knight, but I could make Seraph Knight because I've got this in hand. So I will. Easy, right? Uh, I'll make Seraph Knight. I'll use Lazuli and the Crystal Rose. Uh, well, no, not Lazuli and Crystal Rose. We'll use 
Lapis and Crystal Rose. Uh, because there's no Vanillas in my grave. And then we'll get the normal summon here for this Gym Armadillo. We'll use Gym Armadillo's effect to search for the Obsidian that we're lacking so we can start putting more special summons on the field. Uh, and then from here I can use the Gym Knight Fusion to recur itself. Uh, so Gym Knight Fusion, Banishing Phantom Courts, and now I could actually just go off here because I can go into I can go into a uh, Zirconia with these two. So Zirconia here, then this triggers. Uh, I should have used Lazuli more than likely, but I don't think it actually is going to matter in the long run. Uh, because of the fact that I've got uh, the Crystal Rose that's live as well. Uh, but so I will banish the Obsidian. This comes to hand. I can now fuse into Lady Lapis Lazuli with these two here. Perfect. This deck is so actually retarded. I'm so actually upset that this is something that's <laughs> that we actually have to deal with. Um, in any form and capacity. Uh, okay, so I don't want to actually mill anything. I'll use this to mill a vanilla. Uh, that's 25. And then we'll use this to mill Lazuli from deck. And then that Lazuli will trigger. Yes! Okay. Uh, so we've got that, and now I've got access into this Gym Knight Fusion again. Uh, I'll banish this Lazuli. I need to fuse this away into a uh, Master Diamond, which is easy enough to do, uh, just to get another one on the field. So we'll do this. Master Diamond, one... Uh, two, three. These three in the Master Diamond. I could have used the Crystal Rose, uh, but there's no need to. Because, uh, well, like, I could have used it and then just summoned Block Dragon, because there's definitely enough fuel for it in Grave to summon it again. Uh, but there's there's no need to. So now we'll do this. My opponent hasn't left yet. What a champion. What what a scholar. I'm running out of time, though. Uh, so we'll do that. Then we'll activate this. I'm banishing this one. Activate it. Uh, send another copy from Extra Active Graveyard. This is all 25, uh, and then I get to summon another Master Diamond. Uh, that's the that's the entire point. That's why you have to run three and three now. Uh, like it actually is super important that you run three and three. But one, uh, two, and three. This here, uh, and then I can summon the Block Dragon for BM. Uh, so graveyard, graveyard, and uh, graveyard Block Dragon here. And then we'll activate this last Master Diamond copying this, and then we'll activate the effect Milling an Obsidian from deck for game when the timer has just a sliver of time left on it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what was my opponent even playing? <laughs> I don't even know what my opponent was playing. He didn't have any hand traps, and he didn't leave. And he didn't say anything. Well, actually, I've got Mute Opponent on. So he might have been saying things. Uh, but, you know what? I want to check this. I want to check uh, this and see what deck he was playing just... Just for self-satisfaction? Well, let's see. <laughs> this poor motherfucker was playing Pendulum Magician. And he opened Broken! He opened Desire's Astrograph Chronograph Dark Worm. And a scale. This man opened Broken, but I just told him no. Okay. I kind of feel a little bit... I, f I feel bad for this man. This man should have... This man deserved a real game. But he didn't get one. Oops. Alright, so yeah, that is where I'm going to call this for this one, because I tried to enter more games, and people just keep leaving, so I guess I'll just go with that one game that I did get, because the person was kind enough to not just leave, which I find insane. Maybe he just had never seen this be done before, and he was curious as to how he was going to, like, not lose? I don't know. Well, that was weird. Usually people just leave, and a lot of people did leave. That's the only game I got. I didn't get to get anything else. But we're going to call the video here, keep it a little bit shorter, a little bit sweeter. But anyway, you guys get the point. Um, if you want me to play more with this deck in the coming days, then definitely let me know. Uh, I'd probably be happy to re revisit it and do a bit more with it, because it definitely plays a lot more interestingly now that we don't have Grinder Golem uh, to mess around with, because you actually have to have like a common structuring of how things go, instead of Grinder Golem just vomiting like four special summon monsters onto the field, and you're like, oh, that's 2,000 points of damage to my FTK. Uh, but basically, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments down below, as per always. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description if you want to connect with me through various other forms of uh, social media and things like Twitch and stuff like that. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys. And take care. I'll see you in the next video.
But now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else supporting in the lower tiers. You guys help make what I'm doing here continue to be possible. You have my eternal gratitude, as always, and you're forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.